Hello, John in Thailand. Where you'll find me most days. <laughs> oh, I was going to show you our custard apple. I'm not really sure what happened to it. It was right there, in there. It was the only one I could find on the tree. And it's gone. It's gone. And I don't know, there must be some animal, bird or something that's stealing them because they're just not there. But something else which is tasty and very, very nice to eat is Quinon. Oh, yeah. Look at these big boys. Yeah, baby. I love Quinon. We got them everywhere here. Mmm. How about that? We're going to take that one today, I think, that one. Or possibly that one, one or the other. We don't take too many at once. They're better off being left on the tree. Yeah, so there's something tasty to eat, as if we haven't got enough food already. Uh, I'm just going to wander around the back, past here, and you can see we have papaya growing over there. Oh, there's many things growing. Some of the things I don't know what they are. There's one there that looks like it should be picked now. Or maybe yesterday or the day before. Grown organically. The bananas here, they're grown organically. They're, uh, they're not really given any kind of artificial fertiliser or any, uh, or any uh, herbicides, pesticides, insecticides, anything like that. They look a bit ratty, but they produce nice bananas. And uh, again, here's my R2s. I'm really proud of these R2s. They're a great mango, and they are tasty. They've got a real citrusy flavour. I do love mango. <laughs> um, we have mangoes that are left over. Uh, it's just... I thought we'll uh, we'll try something different, and I saw seen these on a YouTube video, and I thought, uh, yeah, okay. Normally we have uh, the regular gold mangoes here, but in a year or two we'll have some art twos. Uh, mayor's, mayor or mother-in-law or whatever you want to call her, growing a few chilies, and I think she's got some bamboo in there. Really, really not a lot of um, artificial. Um, chemicals used around here now I've got some tomato plants growing nicely I think they're cherry tomatoes I did plant them myself so I should know a few of the a few of the moringas not so good uh, that poor bugger I put in there yesterday I thought I got the whole lot of the root system out all right I used a spoon and dug way down in this this um, tray here um, he went in yesterday. He's not looking 100%, but he might survive. That one, I moved in there. He's not looking real good. But hopefully it's just a water issue, too much water. They've gone a bit yellowy. Uh, that one doesn't look good at all. I don't think he's going to survive. This one over here, not the best. But luckily, most of the ones in this, uh, this basket here, in this basket here are good. About half of them in there are okay. A few good ones. I'm um, just crossing my fingers. Uh, at the moment, uh, our other trees down at Granny Block, or what we call Granny Block, uh, not producing any any flowers at the moment. When I was down there last time, they may have them today. Uh, when I go past, I'll have a look. Uh, we wouldn't get seeds till probably Christmas time anyway, I guess. Our mother tree, which is just over over that way, about uh, 50 metres, it's, uh, it's got flowers on it, heaps of flowers, loads. Uh, the other one over there, well, I'll move them all over there shortly so they're getting sun, plenty of sun. Uh, they're all good, all good. So I've got three... That would be uh, 12 in 2, 24, 30, 35, really good ones. Um, 
And uh, I don't know if they're going to be any good or not, but let's say there's nine in there, ten in there. Hopefully they'll be okay. Uh, yeah, so more organic bananas. Not, not really doing super good with them. They didn't get enough water last year. The little baby growing down here. Uh, one of them fell over, and I covered the the roots up with some dirt and gave it a bit of water. But I don't think the the banana's going to be any good. They're not 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 the right size. They're just too small. I think I've lost that lot. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the name of it is. I can't see any fruit forming yet. But this tree here produces little berry type things, fruit the size of cherries, I suppose. Uh, maybe a little bit bigger, tasty. I must ask my wife what the what the name of it is. This is our laneway around the back, and the old abandoned houses are along here. They all got a um, bit of flood water come up the other week, about a month ago. Uh, more canoon. This one's a big bugger. Big tree. He's a uh, he's big old tree. And he's got some fruit on it, but not much. I think we need to water it more. We're going into a period where there's uh, not going to be as much rain. Coal season starts in December, but right now there's not, not a great deal of rain around. I don't know if we'll get any more this month. Got a few days left. Uh, we've had poor rainfall this October. Uh, yeah, so that's it from me. I've had this uh, concrete driveway or laneway put in about two years ago. Local council paid for it, which was nice. Now this tree is also a fruit-bearing tree, but I can't remember what the damn name is. Uh, I asked my wife, and she told me, and pff, I've forgotten. I have forgotten. Uh, more mango. Uh, oh crap, I think they might be gold mangoes. I'm not sure. We had some more over here, but... I don't know which one's which. I get confused sometimes because there's like several different mangoes and different and different uh, leaves, just slightly different. They're not that big a difference, just slightly different colour. And there we are. We got some fruit. That one's got a few black spots on it. I'm not sure I like that. Hopefully, it'll. It's nearly up to the point where we could take it off, but those black spots might indicate they've had some insect burrow into it. When we open it up, it might not be any good. Uh, this one over here is better. Uh, it's still probably a month or six weeks away before it's big enough to pick. This one here, way too small. We've got some more babies there, and there's more up there. It's a bit hard to see. Uh, uh, yeah. They're there. <laughs> you might not see them on the on the video. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with it and get back to moving the moringas. Bye now.